everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for a behind the scenes video. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but I thought I would take you along and show you how it easy it is to create some little peaches using some soap dough, which I'll be using on the next soap. Let's go. So as you can see, I have already started making some of my peaches for the next soap. I've got four more to do. This is what they look like. They are so super cute. I was having a bit of a mental blank on how to actually create the sort of um, pattern in here to get all the, like, the multicolour on it. I was trying to decide um, you know, how to put the soap dough together, whether to paint it and all that sort of thing. And then I kind of had this vision of exactly how to do it and I got to making it. Just so you can see a bit of a reference, this is a white flesh peach and you can see pretty similar apart from the little green leaf. How you get sort of the yellows, the different tones of orange and that really dark orangey red come through as well. So I'm pretty happy with how they are coming up. Let's get to making the last four of them. Alright, so if we take a closer look at the peach, you can see um, yellow seems to be that sort of centre colour underneath all of these other darker colours. So because of that, I decided to use yellow soap dough as my sort of base starting point. I also figured if yellow was in the middle, it's going to be able to shine through a lot easier through the other colours than if I tried putting the dark colour inside and yellow on the top. So I'm going to start off with my yellow. First thing I'm going to do is cut off for myself some four, uh, four gram pieces. Now I am hoping that the camera is not picking up the rain too much. Um, we are headed in for a really bad weekend of weather. I was preparing for my markets but this morning I actually got a message to say that the markets had been cancelled for this weekend. So I thought instead I would jump on and start making this soap because originally I wasn't going to make these embeds on on camera but seeing as I have some spare time up my sleeve I thought I would take you along and show you. I've been waiting for the house across the road from us. The one actually next door to us had a fence put up and I think the people across the road were so impressed with this fence they've actually just had the exact same company put a fence up for them as well. So I've been waiting all day for them to actually finish putting that up. It's a big metal one so there's been lots of sawing and that sort of thing. They have finally just finished. They've just this second sort of driven off about five minutes ago actually and then the heavens opened up so I <laughs> um, can't really win with the noise but I really want to show you how to do these. So I have cut myself off these little four gram pieces. I'm going to roll them into a, a bit of a ball and then we will start getting the other colours prepped to go on the outside. Okay, so I've got my four here. To get that sort of multicolored effect on the outside, I have two different colors of orange. I've got a light and then a slightly darker one. And I'm just gonna chop myself a bit off this one. And what I'm gonna do is just weigh out another three grams in total of these other colors. So these two colors I don't want an awful lot of because the peaches is predominantly those sort of darker reds. But I'm gonna get about that much on there and then I've got this nice dark orangey red here as well let's get it out of its bag and I'm going to finish weighing that out until I get up to three grams just like that it doesn't have to be spot on it's just roughly then what I do is kind of smoosh it out so it's a little bit flatter in my fingers get all those colors smooshed out like that now there is no right or wrong way of doing this, basically I'm just going to get a bit of my soap dough and I'm going to start squishing them together like so, just all over the place. It doesn't matter if it doesn't stick, it doesn't matter if it's not smooth, it's just to get a rough sort of placement of these colours. Oops. And then I'm going to grab one of these little balls, place it kind of in the middle and wrap it around. 
Now at the moment it doesn't look too good, looks really chunky, it looks like a, a gobstopper out of Willy Wonka movie or something like that. But what I'm going to do now is roll this between my hands. I'm applying quite a firm pressure because I want those other colours to kind of bond with that yellow. I want them to all smooth out and blend into each other. And that is how I managed to get that sort of mottled look to my peaches. So I've gone around there. Now if you've got any sort of patches where it's an obvious difference, all I then do is just get my finger and start to blend the colours together. It doesn't matter if this goes out of its circular shape for now. We just want to get those colours all nice and blended into each other. Give it another roll around. Now I can actually start shaping the shape of my peach here. I want to try and keep as much of that sort of brighter yellow. I've got a really big patch of bright yellow up here. I want to make that the top of my peach just because that's how they look when you do look at them, um, your edible ones. So this is actually for the soap. I'm not going to eat it even though I've got soap all over my hands now. So you can see we've got a lot more yellow at the top and then it's a lot darker on the bottom. So I am going to try and pick the best possible side to kind of represent that. So you can see I've got the the more yellow up there and then directly on the bottom is a lot darker. So I'm going to kind of make that my top. I'm pretty pleased with how that one is looking. So I'm going to do the same with all four of those. Okay, so now that I have got all of those rolled out and I'm pretty happy with how the colouring has gone on them, it's time to add in these finishing little touches of the little stem, the little leaf and the little sort of indent that you tend to find on peaches. So to create the little leaf, I have already done that. I have got a piece of green soap dough which I put through my clay extruder and I have one of the iDream in soap leaf. Um, extruder tools so I've popped that through there to get this little leaf pattern and all I'm doing is I'm taking my knife and I am cutting myself a fairly thick sort of piece it's probably about a mil thick and it's just the little leaf shape there you don't have to have the extruder to actually make that shape it was just something I found a little bit easier you could roll a, a piece of green soap dough up and then shape it into any sort of leaf pattern if you don't have the extruder tools. So I'm going to get myself four more little leaves cut off here and then I'm also going to make myself some little um, stalks and I have just a very small amount of brown soap dough here so I'm just going to break myself just a little bit off, roll it out into a bit of a sausage shape like so and then I'm going to cut myself four pieces. And I'll be able to shape these more when it comes time to actually sticking them onto the soap. Let's get that piece off there and one more piece. Now to do them what I've got is a skewer. I've got my pointed end pointing down. So I'm going to do this one first. So I've got that yellow up towards the top here. I'm going to have the pointy end pointing downwards and I'm going to take it to about halfway down the edge of my soap and then I'm going to roll my skewer around like that just to create that sort of indent that you often see. Now if it does look just a little bit too sharp all I do is just give it a very gentle roll 
just to flatten it back out again and just create a really nice smoothness to that sort of indent. What I'm now also going to do is just grab one of my tools just to poke a hole in the top here. I have my little jar of my distilled water. It looks milky because I have been already making all these other soaps and the soap just tends to, or water tends to go that milky colour when you keep putting soap in it. So I've just put some soap in there, uh, some water in there to act like a glue. I'm going to first of all stick one of those leaves into that hole. Just going to make sure it's stuck in like so. I'm going to grab a piece of this brown that we cut up just put a little bit more water onto the leaf so I know this is going to stick oh, we'll grab our little stem and squish it on in there just need a little bit of help from my skewer and there we have it there is another little peach all done they are so super cute really looking forward to actually putting these onto the the actual soaps here so let's get another one of these done so again I'm going to take my skewer with the point pointing down and the reason I do that is when you actually look I'll grab one of my peaches here I mean it, it quite often is more of a it sits out but it kind of gets thick in here and then it thins out as it comes off the peach here so again there, I'm going to use that as my top point pointing down about halfway down and then I just gently rock my skewer over it just to get that little bit of a lump or a little bit of a, a dip in there and then we'll get our tool pop a hole in the middle for our leaf and our stem so our water for our glue and then oh a little leaf Got lots of little bits of lint stuck on me um on my tool there. Right, that is my little stem, and there is another one done. So there it is that is the final little peach all ready to go I'm now going to go and get the oils and the lye water solution all made up if you haven't already guessed the next theme for the soap is going to be peach and I am going to be adding fresh peach into the soap and it is actually a patreon suggestion to use a fresh peach um, not only am I, am I using the suggestion of a peach I was also inspired by my favorite lip balm flavoring so I'm going to also be adding something a little bit extra into that soap as well so if you want to check out what that's going to be I will be releasing that video um, tomorrow so make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to the channel and it will send you a notification when that video becomes live I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made my little soap dough peaches if you did why not leave me a thumbs up any comments down below and until the next video comes out I hope you have a good one and I'll see you then bye